Healthy soil is the foundation of good stewardship as a farmer or a rancher or anyone who manages land. It needs to have roots in it. It needs to have stable aggregates. Those are conglomerates of smaller soil particles that are glued together by a biological activity in the soil that allow air in between the particles and allow water to infiltrate into the soil, but also hold on to water in times of drought. If we don't have lots of living organisms in the soil, these aggregates break down. The soil becomes like the texture of flour and packs down, becomes anaerobic and becomes unproductive. Now every living organism on this planet, whether you're a human, a cow, a plant, a bacteria or a worm in the soil, you have a lot of carbon in you. We're a carbon-based life forms in this planet. One of the biggest single indicators of soil health is the amount of carbon or organic matter you have in the soil. By taking that simple measurement, we can predict what sort of plant growth we might be able to expect and how healthy our animals are gonna be. So while carbon is of key importance in the soils, it's actually causing a lot of issues in the atmosphere trapping too much heat in the environment. The way we get carbon into the soil is by plants pulling it out of the atmosphere through photosynthesis and it going back into the soil through decomposition or through their roots. And the way that we manage the soils and the plants and our animals as farmers and ranchers and stewards of the land can impact uh, exactly how much of that carbon is stored in the soil. Soils are the largest terrestrial sink of carbon as we're facing increasing threats of climate change. If we can find novel ways of sequestering carbon, small changes in management that might make even minuscule additions of carbon to soils can have really, really large impacts. We can learn through touch, through look, through observation, but we also need to know scientifically what's happening in the soil. A lot of our understanding of soil carbon is limited by our ability to actually measure carbon at scale. Right now, if a, a producer or a land manager or a scientist wants to understand how much carbon is in the soil, uh, a sample needs to be taken in the field. That sample then needs to be dried, processed, run through laboratory equipment. Those options are, are costly, expensive, and time consuming. Yale's developed a really compact toolkit that allows us to test carbon all across the farm much more easily and much more cheaply than traditional soil sampling would. A density and fine texture that we have never been able to do before. We're calling this whole process quick carbon. Uh, so the, the kit that, uh, that we're using today is a quick carbon field sampling kit. We've developed a soil extractor that measures and extracts soils to a set depth. It includes a reflectometer, uh, a small portable device that basically measures the color of the soil. Um, and that's, that's made by a group of engineers at a company called OurSci. We drill and take samples, put it in a little tray and place it into the soil reflectometer, which is connected to a cell phone that we have through Bluetooth. It takes readings of the color of the soil. We take a lot of information about a landscape to get a really good sense of where the carbon is, where, where are high points, where are low points. Because this technique is so inexpensive, we can return year after year to uh, remap that and uh, use that adaptively to help inform management further. If we don't work towards building health in the soil and on the land, we're not going to have land that provides food for us as human beings or income for us as farmers. We are completely tied to soil health, as is every other organism on this planet. So monitoring it and knowing how we are impacting it is of the utmost importance. Uh, Stone Barns has been really fantastic and going all in on, uh, on sampling, uh, being able to take some samples before, uh, before the cows come through in the morning or, uh, or being able to take an afternoon to go uh, and do some data collection uh, is a really amazing resource and has made it a great, uh, a great partnership, a great collaboration. 
Thanks for watching and learning about the innovative work we're doing here at Stone Barn Center. If you want to learn more, check out our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.